In the previous lesson, we added attributes to the geometry of this callout block. Now we'll convert this simple geometry into a dynamic block. For that, go to the block panel and select this create block icon. Now give this block a name. So I'll name it as callout block. And now select a pick point. So I'll select this center point as the pick point for this block. And now select the objects select all of these objects and press enter now once again make sure this allow exploding and open in block editor checkbox is selected and then click on ok and ok again and here we have it so now the block opens in block editor and in this block editor window we can add dynamic features to this block so the first feature which we need to add is the visibility parameter. So right now this block is suitable for section callout but it's not suitable for detail and elevation callouts. For that I'll just go to this parameters panel on the block authoring palette and if you're not able to see this block authoring palette then from this block editor tab and this manage panel select this authoring palettes option. So here you can click on this authoring palettes option to toggle the visibility of block authoring palettes. Now from here select this parameters tab and select this visibility parameter. Now click at anywhere in the drawing area to place the visibility parameter. So I'll click at this point to place the visibility parameter. And as soon as you'll do this, you'll notice that this visibility state option becomes active on the visibility panel. So right now in this dropdown, we have a single visibility state, which is the default visibility state. Now we need to make some modifications here for that. Go to this visibility states option and rename the current visibility state to section. So let's type section here and click on OK. So now we have added a single visibility parameter for the section callout, but we still need two more, one for detail and other for elevation. So we'll again go to this visibility states and now click on new. And from here, we'll add one more parameter, which is elevation. Here, make sure this last leave visibility of existing objects unchanged in new state checkbox is selected and then click on OK. Go to new again and add detail here and make sure again this last checkbox is selected. Click on OK. So now we have these three visibility parameters. Click on OK. And here we have the updated block. So now let's go to this drop down and in this drop down we can see that we have section elevation and detail but when you change to any of these visibility states there is no change in the current block. In order to make changes visible, we need to hide in geometries in different visibility state. So for section view, we need all of these hatches to remain visible. So I'll go to this elevation and now in elevation, we need these two hatches to hide. So for hiding the hatches, click this make invisible option and click on the hatches which you want to hide and now press enter. So now here it is hidden. So let's go to the next visibility state, which is in detail. And in detail, we need all of these hatches to be hidden. For that, go to this make invisible option and select all of these three hatches and press enter again. So now we have prepared the visibility state. So let's go and check whether we have it or not. So let's go to the section. We have all the three hatches. Go to elevation. We have only the single hatch. And in detail, we don't have any hatch. So that means we have prepared it. So now let's click on this close block editor and save the changes. And here we have this block in the drawing area. Now let's select this block and here you will see a small down pointing grip. Click on this grip and from here you can select elevation or detail. And in this way you can change the parameters. We still have one more detail to add right now the callout block is pointing only in upward direction and we may need to add it in different directions so we need to add a rotation parameter to this callout block as well so we again need to modify this for modifying this go to this block editor option 
select the call out block and click on OK. So now we are again in the block editor window. So from this window, once again, go to this parameters tab, select rotation parameter and click at the center of this geometry. And now click at a point where you want to add the parameter and press enter. So now here we have this angle parameter added and we still need to add some action and you can verify that with this exclamation mark which indicates that we still have an action missing. So go to this action tab and from here select the rotate option and click the parameter to which you want to apply the action. So let's select it and now select the objects on which you want to apply this action. So we want to apply this action on this angle and on these three hatches. So let's select them all and press enter and now the parameter is applied. So now we'll be able to rotate this block in any direction according to our requirement. So let's now change the visibility of our block and let's change it to elevation and we have a problem here. In elevation view, we are not able to see the rotate action or the rotate parameter. So in order to make it visible in all the three states, we need to first toggle the visibility here. So click on this visibility mode and you'll see all the invisible objects in less transparency. So now let's make this angle visible here. So let's go to this option, which is make visible and click on this angle parameter and press enter. Let's change our visibility state to detail. And once again, in this state as well, make it visible. So now we have this parameter visible in all the three states. We can simply now close this block editor to complete this block. But if you want, you can add one more detail to this rotate parameter. And, and that is you can restrict the movement of this block to certain angles. For that, you can select this angle parameter then right click and go to properties. Now from this properties palette, scroll it down and from this angle type, select increment. And in this way, you'll be able to restrict the motion of this block to an increment of angles. So I'll type 30 here and now press tab key. And now you'll notice that your rotation will be restricted to 30 degrees. So you can change this value to let's say 10 degrees. And this seems better to me. So I'll keep it at 10. And now let's close this properties palette, press escape, and now click on close block editor and save the changes. So here we have a completely updated block. So let's erase it and enter a new instance. So I'll go to this call out block and I'll insert it. Let's click on OK. Now select this. And you'll notice that here we have this rotation parameter as well. So let's click here and you'll notice that we can now rotate it at an increment angle of 10 degrees in this way. And we still have the visibility parameter here. So in this way, you can change the visibility states as well. So this was all about creating the callout block and adding the dynamic feature to it. In the next lesson, I'll tell you about creating a north direction simple block.